So far, nearly 2,000 DUI arrests have been made this year on Oahu, and police expect that number to spike during the holiday season. Eddie Dowd shows us the unique approach HPD is taking to raise awareness. Traffic officers on Oahu tell us they are seeing more repeat offenders in DUI cases. It's prompting concerns that the messaging about the dangers that come with drinking and driving are not getting through to everyone. They're still out there. Um, from a first-hand perspective, I mean, we could look at statistics all day and judge whether or not it's up or down, but they're still out there and it's plentiful. On Saturday, HPD, instead of trying to warn about the impacts, tried to physically show them. At its training academy in Waipahu, volunteers drank for nearly two hours under supervision of HPD officers, a unique demonstration to show how alcohol can impair people planning to get behind the wheel. We brought our senior producer, Derek Kravitsky, who volunteered to take part in the controlled workshop. He was taken to a room with two other volunteers where HPD officers operated an open bar, pouring and serving drinks. The goal was not to drink to excess, but create a social drinking environment where participants casually drink over several hours. I was in a suburb outside like, the city. We could see the Liberty Bell. <laughs> like, while the volunteers enjoyed their happy hour, <laughs> photographer Anthony Hamilton and I were in class learning about the three standardized impairment tests used nationwide that officers would conduct on the participants afterwards. Although there was no alcohol in our room, we did get to experience what it's like to undergo one of these tests with these goggles that simulate impairment from intoxication. I could barely walk the line. I have bad balance. After the nearly two-hour informational workshop, the volunteers in the other room were cut off from drinking and joined us in the classroom where they took the three tests, walking the line, standing on one foot, and tracking the tip of a pen with their eyes. Our producer Derek, who had six drinks, thought he did well, but found out he likely would have been arrested based on his performance because he failed to follow specific instructions. Despite the poor performance, it was revealed Derek, who took a breathalyzer test after drinking, was barely over the legal limit for blood alcohol content. Derek was a prime example of somebody who felt like they performed well on the test. What he doesn't realize is officers are trained to look for certain clues um, during this test that would indicate that he's impaired. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're okay to drive. HPD says another thing they hear is that designated drivers are sometimes the person in the group who drank the least. It hopes that this demonstration shows even when you think you're good enough to drive, it doesn't mean you are. Eddie Dowd, Hawaii News Now.